Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So today I'm going to be doing the top books I want to read by the end of the summer. And I am so excited because I have, I feel like, an amazing lineup of books, first of all. Second of all, if you guys are new to my channel, if you're just clicking on a video of mine for the first time, hi, thank you, welcome. Um, I am a full-time student. I just finished my master's degree in May. I'm going to be starting as a doctoral student in August. <laughs> Why did I have to think about that? I don't know. I'm going to be starting as a doctoral student in August. So this is my time to like do a ton of reading. I'm not planning to stop reading, but I know from being a graduate student in the past that I have to be strategic about reading during the school year. And I also have to accept that I'm not probably going to read 10, 20 books in a month. It's just not going to happen. I'm reading a ton of other literature and stuff like that. And I have to be reasonable with myself and be okay with that. So anyway, off of that spiel, let's just jump into what I want to read before the end of the summer. And I'm so excited. Also, I'm going to be doing some traveling in July. So I also feel like I'll have time to read when I'm traveling back and forth place to place. So let's get into it. The first book, and I just feel like mentally for me, I need to read this book. I got this book for like a dollar or two dollars. And this is Soothe Your Nerves, The Black Woman's Guide to Understanding and Overcoming Anxiety, Panic, and Fear by Dr. Angela Neal Barnett. Now I have started this book a couple times when I wasn't even back into reading and it was really good. I just wasn't back into reading so I just kept putting it down and never going back to it. But I really want to read this book. I really would love to read and learn more about anxiety and panic and fear. I I feel like that's never really something I dealt with before. I've always been a worrier my whole life. <laughs> I've always been that person to worry about every little thing. But I feel like when I started graduate school three years ago, it ramped up and I feel like it became more than just worrying. And while I wouldn't classify myself as somebody who has like panic disorders or anything like that I just would like to learn more so that I can educate myself better because I find during the school year it's easy for me to get overwhelmed so I want to equip myself with as much as I can going into my PhD program on how to work through my nerves and also just things that I can do you know to just alleviate that and not even have that be a problem because you know so anyway I just thought that this book sounded awesome and I liked that it was specifically for black women so I'm really looking forward to reading this and it's not even that long. How many pages is this you guys? I'm always talking like y'all right here with me but that's how I feel. <laughs> this is, that's acknowledgments. Can't wait to read those. Am I the only one that reads acknowledgments? Let me know. Reese, oh she included resources. Oh the researcher in me just loved it. Okay. I should have had this checked out. 178 pages. So this is a pretty short book and I'm really looking forward to reading that. So I will report back on that. And then the next book, I just realized I have my books like, oh, paperbacks and then hardcovers. That's just funny. The next book. Now, some of these books were in my spring book haul. So I will link that um, down below for you guys, as well as my Dollar Tree book haul because some of these books were in there as well. This is the book by Hill Harper called Letters to a Young Sister, Define Your Destiny with a foreword by Gabrielle Union. Now I read Letters to a Young Brother years ago and that book has stayed with me. It's one of my favorite books and I had never read Letters to a Young Sister. So I'm just really looking forward to reading it. I love the first book. It was so touching and emotionally gripping. But there were just so so much wisdom I feel like packed into that book. And I loved the way he did it like they were letters. I love that. So I'm really looking forward to reading this because of course, you know, maybe more in here will apply to me. I really wish I would have read it when I was younger. But you know, no regrets. I'm reading it now and I'm excited and looking forward to it. So if you've read this book, let me know and if you have not read this book i highly recommend letters to a young brother just so you know <laughs> um the next book that i want to talk to you guys about is the little paris bookshop by nina george and first of all this book is blurred on top by oprah.com excuse me it says if you're looking to be charmed right out of your own life for a few hours <laughs> sit down with the why with this wise and winsome novel Oh, and also, are we going to say that that cover is not? I like this cover. Am I the only one? Let me know. Um, but anyway, this book is about a guy and he has a floating bookstore. I just think that's amazing. 
he has a floating bookstore and basically it sounds like he kind of prescribes books to people based on the different hardships that they're experiencing in their life but at the same time he's going through inner turmoil that I don't know if he's not dealing with it or he's not wanting to accept it but then all of a sudden it's like you can't run from this you have to deal with this so that just sounds interesting to me um and I'm just really looking forward to reading it. I think I'm gonna absolutely love this book I'm banking on absolutely loving this book so I will let you guys know with any of these books if you've read any of these books at all please comment down below and let me know if you liked them or didn't like them and why you liked them or didn't like them but I'm really looking forward to this book as another summer read and then another book that I'm really looking forward to reading. Um, I told you guys in my spring book haul that I was waiting until after graduation. You know, graduation has definitely passed, so it's going down. This is A Dog's Purpose um, by W. Bruce Cameron. And it says, every dog happens for a reason. I personally love dogs. I feel like some people are either like cat people or dog people. I'm definitely a dog person. Me and cats, oh, they scare me. So I'm definitely a dog person, but the premise of this book sounds amazing. So this is a story following the different lives of dogs. But the amazing thing about it, I think, is that it's told from the dog's perspective. As if you were sitting down and a dog was telling you what it's like to walk a day in their shoes. And so I don't know, that just sounds like it's gonna be funny. I've heard that this book is funny, but it's emotional and it's just, a touching book and I'm just kind of in the mood for that right now so I'm really looking forward to reading that as well and then oh try not to drop my books and then the next book that I want to mention to you guys is The Humans by Matt Hag 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 I probably messed that up <laughs> as always all books will be linked down below so this book what I know about this book is this book is following an alien who comes in this I don't know if he discovers humans or if he's like reporting back on what humans are like so it's kind of like we're getting an outside perspective on what we're like and I just think that's amazing and also let me tell you what sealed the deal for me because I know you're wondering right <laughs> let me tell you what sealed the deal for me with this book I have to, I have to I have to I'm not gonna spoil anybody but this where is it okay this first line right here listen to this i know that some of you reading this are convinced humans are a myth but i am here to state that they do actually exist for those of you that don't know a human is a real bipedal life form of mid-range intelligence <laughs> living in a largely diluted existence what on a small waterlogged planet in a very lonely corner of the universe like don't <laughs> I just that makes me want to just stop the video and read that right now so I don't know how I've contained myself without reading this because I've had this book for quite a while so I'm really looking forward to reading this book this summer no excuses and then the last paperback book that I have to show you is one of the chicken soup for the soul books this is just nostalgic for me to have this book to be talking about this book to be touching it i have read the chicken soup book since i was really little and i love so many of them but i'm just starting to actually collect them i have quite a few of their little ones a taste of chicken soup that you can get to kind of test out the different story range and i mean there's a million and one of these so the one i have is the power of gratitude 101 stories about how being thankful can change your life i'm a big proponent of gratitude for myself and in my own personal life and it's something that i try to work on daily it's definitely easier said than done but it's definitely something that i try to work on so i just thought that this would be really uplifting and eye-opening and also i think this is the perfect time for me to read it right now because i'm in transition right now between you know ending my master's program and starting my phd program and i find that i feel like my life is up in the air right now and i to be honest with you guys i've been struggling with that i feel like my life is up in the air and it's just you know a lot of stuff coming up and i don't know i'm just i don't I'm, i don't do well with change and i know that's something i need to work on but i don't do well with change i don't do well with instability and so i thought that this would be a great book to kind of get me back in that mindset of remembering all the things to be thankful for to even be in a place where i can be even at a place where my life is up in the air right now because of something as amazing and as gratifying and i'm very grateful for it as being about to start a PhD program I mean 
I'm so grateful for that. So even just talking about it right now, you know, it's really just helping my mindset. And so it's just something I like to meditate on daily. So I am really, really excited about reading this book. I think it's going to be phenomenal. And then finally, I have a couple more books to show you guys, but they are actually all heartbag books. So the first one is Kevin Hart's new book. And I will say, if you're thinking about getting this, I wish I would have got it on audiobook because I listened to a preview of it on audiobook. Mind you, I am not somebody who listens to audiobooks at all, but I love to hear Kevin Hart talk, so I definitely should have got this on um, audiobook. The preview sounded amazing, so if you're into audiobooks, maybe check out a preview before you get the actual hard cover of the book. But anyway, this is I Can't Make This Up Life Lessons by Kevin Hart, and I've already started reading it. It's hilarious, of course. I, Kevin Hart is like my type of funny so I love him I wanted to support him and I as soon as I saw that 30% off grabbed it so I definitely wanted to support him I love him and this book is supposed to be a ton of different stories that have taken place in his life and like I said I think he's an amazing storyteller I love I've been to one of his shows before ooh, ooh. I was so excited I have been to one of his shows before with my friends so I'm really looking forward to reading this book I think this will just be a fun light funny read for the summer but hopefully there is some hidden wisdom in here that I can take and apply to my life and if nothing else he's going to make me laugh because I've already started laughing since I've started the book so I'm sure that will be a thing and then the next book I just feel like I've talked about this book so many times and I have not read it and it's going down it's happening I'm telling you guys it's happening 2017 this is the book of Jonah a novel by Joshua Max Feldman look familiar yes I know I know I know it was in my Dollar Tree book haul. I know stop it you're judging me don't do it okay <laughs> it's ebony okay this book is basically loosely from what I understand loosely based around the book of Jonah which I don't really remember the book of Jonah in the Bible that much but it's loosely based around that what I know about this book is that it's following a guy named Jonah and he's kind of like at a great point in his life but then he comes to a crossroad in his life and he has to make a decision and then based on those decisions it's like everything just kind of takes off from there and we also see um you know how his life unfolds from there and also one of the things that this book talks about is answering that question of am I the chosen one you know am I the one to change things for the better or something like that so I don't know if this book I mean it's loosely based around um the book of Jonah so I would have to read it to let you guys know how much of a religious undertone is in it and um then get back to you guys on that I mean based on the synopsis it doesn't sound too religious which religious books don't bother me but I mean I'm also religious so <laughs> you know but if you're not religious so I would have to read this and see but it sounds amazing so it says the modern day Jonah at the center of Joshua Max Feldman's brilliant brilliantly conceived retelling of a classic tale as a young Manhattan lawyer Jonah is a lucky guy healthy and handsome with two beautiful women ready to spend the rest of their lives with him in an enormously successful career that gets more promising by the minute He's celebrating a deal that will surely make him partner at his firm when a bizarre vision at a party changes everything. As hard as he tries to forget what he saw, this disturbing sign is only the first of many Jonah will witness and before long his life is unrecognizable. Though this perhaps... Though this perhaps divine intervention will be responsible for more than one irreversible loss in Jonah's life, it will also lead him to cross paths with Judith Brooks, an intense, breathtakingly intelligent woman who's no stranger to loss herself. As this funny and bold novel moves to Amsterdam and then Las Vegas, Feldman examines the way we live now while asking an age-old question. How can we explain the unexplainable? So it does sound really good to me and I'm really looking forward to reading this book. And also, I just love this cover. Everything about this is just giving me spring vibes, which is ideal because I ain't been getting no spring vibes from where I live. It's been cold. It's been thunderstorming every day. It's been dark. So no, I ain't been getting no spring vibes. So it's nice to see this. And then the last two books, are you guys ready for this? Are, are you ready? I need to read and to me, I don't care. I have been waiting until I had the mental capacity. I was just so exhausted toward the end of finishing my master's program. So I have just been waiting until I had the mental capacity to devote to this book. And it is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. That's right, people. It's happening. I am, oh, I can't even tell you how excited I am for this book. This book is about six different like outcasts 
morally gray characters and they're trying to complete what they're deeming an impossible heist. First of all, I love multiple POVs. I love stories about heists. I love movies about it. just all you have to do is say heist, robbery, I'm down, I want it, bring it my way. I can tell you that. Also, are we going to talk about just I, the black pages, just everything about this book. It's deep, it looks dark, I don't know. Y'all know I'm not into scary books. I've heard this book is not scary, but it's action packed. You won't want to put it down. And I am just ready to be knocked off my feet. I'm gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> so I am so, 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 so looking forward to reading this book. If you haven't noticed, by the way, I'm jabbering on. I'm gonna put it down now, but this is happening. And then the final book is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. And here's the book here. All I know about this book is that it's about two twins and they were really close when they were younger but then something happened and now they don't talk and they're not very close anymore and we follow the story of the twins taking t like kind of telling different parts of the story so I think the first twin tells the story up until a certain point and it's kind of like in the past when they're telling the story and then it switches over to the other twin who I think is telling more modern day or present day what's going on with them and it just sounds amazing it sounds really moving um it says here's what the actual cover says jude and her twin brother noah are incredibly close at 13 isolated noah draws constantly and is falling in love with the charismatic boy next door while daredevil jude cliff dies and wears red 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 lipstick and does the talking for both of them but three years later at 16, Jude and Noah are barely speaking. Something has happened to wreck the twins in different and dramatic ways until Jude meets a cocky, broken, beautiful boy as well as someone else, an even more unpredictable new force in her life. The early years are Noah's story to tell. The later years are Jude. What the twins don't realize is that they had that they each only have half of the story and if they could just find their way back to each other, they'd have a chance to remake their world. It just sounds really good. Again, it sounds like a story that's going to be moving and probably a bit emotional for me, but it just sounds like an amazing read. And also, I love this cover. Also, I bought this book last year, so it's going down this year. I have just been waiting and I'm so happy with the lineup of books I have. Please let me know what you're planning to read for the summer. I would love to know what you are planning to read. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate your time and I will see you in the next video. Bye.